Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this pen dive laser tape measure 2 in 1. Uh, the listing on Amazon says laser measure 131 feet uh, or 40 meters, tape measure with 16 feet 5 meters and laser distance measure with LCD digital display for measuring area volume do it yourself houses carpenter and those things and it's listed for a little bit above forty dollars so it's not a cheap thing but it has pretty good reviews so I thought I'll give it a try and I'm going to show you what you can do with this thing. So there are some good things and some bad things as well. So stay tuned till the very end of the video so you're not going to miss on this thing. So that's the box uh, but you get it inside. It's not much on it. Yeah, two tools in one laser tape, 40 meters uh, with a laser 5 meters with the measure tape so there's not much here yeah, maybe we have uh, some technical parameters here and uh, about the laser and these things so yeah this is what we get we get the instruction manual if you're interested into that there's already one big problem here the writing is very small i'm going to show you that pretty quickly and maybe you can catch it more or less if you are lucky uh, the problem is really it's so small written i don't know why but it's not the only problem here but i'm going to show you more of that maybe it helps you to make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you lost the instructions maybe it could help but i'm going to show you most of the functions anyway and I'm going to show you how accurate this is and everything so the first thing of course we have to charge it here in the back and we can already see that it hasn't been really built very accurately uh, the cover here is a little bit shifted or the housing is a little bit shifted here to the protection i mean you still can uh, plug it in charge it no problem but the problem is uh, when you plug it in you don't see anything you really have to turn it on to see if it's charging or not definitely uh, not such a good idea then we have this mount here for the belt you can slide the belt through here and then you can somehow mount it i hope i have it right here i think the idea is to just slide it down here and then you have it on your belt and it's secured and when you want it you just push and release it so that's definitely a good thing what you get is also probably the idea is if you leave a review you will get some gift or so six months warranty there's also a website at least a facebook and some support they seem to even have a website that's not bad i mean it's not a cheap thing so we can expect something like that so how to turn it on we long press here and we get the display and that's already one of the big problems for me i mean when we have such a large device i mean this is really huge it's bulky i mean yeah of course five meter tape has to be somehow bulky but the display should be much bigger. Why didn't they make this display much, much bigger? I mean, even with my reading glasses, sometimes I have big problems to see everything. So, uh, and when you're out uh, somewhere at the working site and maybe it's a little bit dirty and it's mirroring and sun is shining uh, on the thing. So it can be really hard to see, especially this thing here. I mean, th this is something... Uh, maybe yeah let's start with this thing this is the worst thing actually to see there's a switch where you can tell the tape uh, if it should measure just from the front or from the back i mean here you can see when we switch this thing now it's measuring from the front only and now it's measuring till the back and you can see the difference I mean, I'm doing some quick measure here. Uh, yeah, the best thing I think is when I pull it out and secure it somewhere, let's say uh, at about 
11 inches that's about 11 inches uh, 28 centimeters let's try with this I'm going to measure till here I'm just pressing two times and we can see the distance yeah I don't know why it hasn't been doing more we see the distance here sometimes you can see it even better here uh, but it's 36 centimeters and you can see till here it's 28 and that's another 8 centimeters so that's the idea we can change it and then it's only measuring to the front we can do the same thing here we press two times and we have the 27.9 it's pretty close to the 28 so I think it's pretty accurate I'm not complaining about that by the way we can also use this button here to switch the units I hope you can see that now we are on feet and we can switch to feet and inches and this is only inches and yeah, we have a couple of things here meters and uh, feet and yeah these things so the next thing which I wanted to show you is this automatic calculation there's some picture which indicates what it is you can see some difference here so I think now we are uh, on a flat surface here which we can measure we uh, just press once here and we press again here and then it will do the automatic calculation which is in this case is, is 0 0.85 square feet so that's pretty impressive here but still what I not like is really this really small super small display which is really super hard to see and uh, I mean it looks like the uh, laser tape or the laser measurement is very accurate if this thing is causing a problem it will be probably because you are on the wrong setting either you're measuring to the front or to the back which can be wrong or you are using the wrong calculation uh, or something like that so this is really something which they should improve otherwise yeah it can be a little bit hard to be used in a professional environment so I'm turning this thing off by the way you can also do here some continuous measurement so for the normal measurements uh, you have to just push for two seconds to turn it on and then you push once you get the distance usually not in this case I don't know why usually it's here and when you uh, push again of course it will do the next measurement and you can see that here it's 12.3 because I moved this thing a little bit away and the last one is 11.0 that's a really nice thing you can see so the current measurement you have here in a little bit larger letters and the previous one you have in a little bit smaller letters you can do also continuous measurement when you long press yeah, I think now after about two seconds or so it goes into this continuous measurement and you can see when I move this box a little bit away or closer it's adjusting the distance so you don't have to press again and again and again so this can also be helpful in some circumstances of course there is an automatic turn off which is pretty fast if you don't want to wait you can hit this thing for about one or two seconds then it's turned off but usually it's not needed because it's turning off so fast when you have turned it off uh, you can also go into the setup mode when you push it for five seconds I think it will go into some kind of boot mode and you have a couple of options here what you can do is to adjust uh, if you think this thing is a little bit off or so you can uh, adjust it yeah, I think you can press two seconds and then it goes into the calculation adjustment you can either increase it by a couple of millimeters or decrease it if you think it's okay you stay with the zero you press for two seconds then you have I think that's the beeping I had it off because uh, it, it, it's annoying when you have for everything you do when you have this beeping so I have it off here you switch you can see you can switch if you're good with the value you uh, keep for 
two seconds and here we have the backlight which we can turn on and off of course i want to stay with the on that's it regarding the boot menu and i think i've been covering now all the laser things too so i can turn it off what i wanted to show you here is this tape it was a little bit caught by something but now it's clean in the meantime so i think it's not a bad thing it's pretty good it's stable you also have this correction here when you want to instead of measuring like from here instead of here it's a difference of course because there is some really yeah maybe one millimeter but you can see it it, it it moves a little bit exactly by this one millimeter so this is a good compensation seems to work really good and again it's pretty uh, sturdy you can secure it you can push it up and then you can uh, roll it in and you can lock it anywhere pretty good i mean it's not super strong but it's i think strong enough in total we have five meters yeah I'm going out here what i noticed is that uh, between six and seven feet the measure tape will bend down like something like this so if you hold it just straight out somewhere between six and seven feet it will just uh, bend down okay but this is uh, not unusual i'm going to show you the end of the tape as well so this is how the end of the tape looks 16 feet 5 meters there's a stop probably the idea is not to pull it out more than that but i've never had any problems with uh, pushing or pulling this thing back here i think yeah i'll have to push it up and you can see it goes back easily So I had to be a little bit careful. I'm inside. I don't want to destroy anything. So yeah, it's actually working pretty good. To compare the size, this is exactly same length, but without a laser. And of course, uh, it's a little bit smaller. I would say it has about similar uh, sturdiness, similar things. So you can see this is a, a similar thing, I think. This one is even a little bit more sturdy. What I like with this one here, the Stanley, we just pull it out. We don't have to do anything. And if we want to uh, retract it, we just push here. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, it works too, of course, but it's a little bit difficult, especially with one hand to pull it up. It can be a little bit more difficult regarding sturdiness. With this one here, it's bending uh, down between about five and six feet. And here we have it between uh, six and seven feet. So it looks like the tape itself is a little bit more sturdy. So you can see them side by side. What I really like here is this thing. I mean, it goes up to 40 meters. If you're good with the laser, you can extend this. I mean, here we have just this five meter. That's it. Uh, you cannot add. If you have uh, something longer, you have to do the measurement a couple of times. You can use the laser after five meters, which definitely can help. And also, we have these uh, meters and centimeters so sometimes uh, people can ask or some materials or some furniture or whatever uh, need to be measured in centimeters millimeters or meters and this can be very helpful if you have both uh, so in general i think it's a good thing it's not very cheap but it's very convenient the biggest complaint from my side is definitely the very very small uh, display here but uh, if you're good with that if you don't see any problem with that so i think you're good to go and buy the thing and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or it's up there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time